Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to be showing you how to take the uh, Corplef map that you created in the previous lesson and preparing it for print or for web. Um, the first thing I need to show you though is that print compose a view you constructed yesterday with three different projections, one for the mainland, one for Alaska and one for Hawaii, won't actually work when you go to save it as an image or as an SVG. Um, print Composer can actually only handle um, one um, projection at any one time. So when you print it out, you'll see that it um, will convert all of these to one projection. So let me just uh, show you what I mean. It's easier to uh, show you than try and describe it. So as you can see, it's set to the Hawaii projection because that was the last one we added. And it's taken the other two maps and put them on the same projection. So which is why we're getting three versions of Hawaii. So the only way to produce a map with three different projections is to save them individually and then compile them in Illustrator, which is um, basically what I'm going to show you how to do now. But before I do that, I just want to um, tidy up the map a little bit because uh, I don't like the uh, black borders and I want to add some state lines into it as well. So let's just change our projection back to the main projection and let's remove those black lines so just double click and to get rid of them you don't have to do each symbol individually just change the main symbol at the top so click on simple fill and select no pen okay that and the other thing i want to do is just change the color of the map i've got it blue at the moment but i think it'd be better if the uh, colors were um, oranges instead because poverty infers um, something bad so let's change them to red and that's that's looking nice now so what I want to do is just add in the state boundaries just to um, help the user know exactly where in the US they are so just load in your state provinces lines file from um, natural earth and obviously it's going to load in the um, borders for the entire world so just to keep them just to the US go to the layer properties and click on the query builder and the one you're looking for is admin 0a3 and just check, make that equal to USA okay so that's reduced it down to the US now just change the color So it's a slide so I can see it. So simple line, and I'm just going to change it to white. And I'm just going to make it thicker as well. Okay, that's better. It's got some delineation. Just it's basically just to give you an, a sense of where you um, the states are. You don't have to have them really thick and very dark. It's basically just to give the user an indication. So now what we need to do is with our print composer, you can see it's updated those two views like I showed you on earlier. So just remove the Hawaii and I'm going to now save this version as SVG, so US main map. Okay, that, back to our thing change the projection to Alaska and zoom in on Alaska back to our print composer now we add in our Alaska map in the bottom left corner okay that let's get rid of the main map and let's save that as SVG so Alaska, save that, back to our map, zoom in on Hawaii, change the projection to Hawaii, and zoom in so it's filling up as much of the screen as possible. Okay, back to our print composer. Delete the Hawaii, sorry, the Alaska layer and add in your Hawaii one. 
save that. Hawaii. And then go to Illustrator. Open up your main. Actually, open up all three files together. And I'm just going to combine them now into one document so we can have um, the view we had in our print composer. So there's our main map. I'm just going to delete. There's usually some stray rectangles around the edges of documents when you export as SVG from um, QGIS. So just delete them. Go back to your other layer. I'm just going to copy this, close it, and then paste in place, which is Command F. So that'll paste it in exactly the same place. Now it's pasted the white box on top, so we can just delete them, making sure we don't grab anything else on the layer below. And same thing for Hawaii. Just grab the Hawaii layer, copy that, close it, and then paste in place, Command, Command F, and then just delete the white rectangles. So there we have it, we've got our map. Let's just um, finesse it a little bit. Just put the legend in the right place. Now let's put the labels of all the layers in that are in the document, so we don't need them. And let's just remove the decimals, we don't need them. Actually, let's just do a find and replace. So let's copy that, find and replace, sorry, it's under edit. And paste that in and just replace with zero and just replace with all. Okay, so that's just basically got rid of all of the zeros without having to do it manually. So let's just move that over. And we'll call this um, poverty percentage. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just box in um, Alaska and Hawaii just so they're not um, just floating around in space. So I just can move them down a little bit and just move Hawaii over so it's not in the same places. And I'm just going to box them in. So just drawing the rectangle, no stroke, and a black fill. And I'm just going to uh, copy. Well, I'm actually just going to alt-drag it, so which basically is the same thing as doing a copy. And I'm just going to lower that down to there. And let's just change it to a grey, so it's not so strong. And I'm just going to put in a label. There we go. So that's one way of getting all of your different uh, projections into one final output in Illustrator. Obviously, you could use um, Inkscape, um, whatever vector program you're used to using, but um, Illustrator is the um, sort of industry standard for using um, creating vector graphics. So I hope that helps, and um, join me in the next lesson.